Army for wounds received in action on 1-5 October 2004, given under my hand in the city of Washington, signed the 10th day of November 2004, R.L. Bromley, Acting Secretary of the Army. Specialist Matthew Drake, his mother, Mrs. Lisa Schuster, and his father, Mr. Tom Drake, would like to say a few words. The floor is yours, man. I know the time is very short, so I can't say everything that I might want to say now, so I'll be brief. First of all, I want to thank every one of you who could come that did come and participate in the ceremony. Secondly, I'd like to thank you, to thank everyone who couldn't be here today, who wanted to, and have been there for Matthew and his family right along. Third but not least, I'd like to thank General Brown and everyone under your command for the genuine concern and help throughout Matthew's recovery. I've always been very proud of my son for so many reasons. Right now, words alone can't express how proud I am of him. Right now, I feel that I'm the luckiest man in the world because Matthew is still here and doing so well. Matthew is strong, courageous, determined, and a man of his word. He said he'd come home again. He said he'd stand. And when he received his medal, he has kept his word on both. I'm so very glad to be able to, that he kept his word. It speaks volumes to the men that he served with and what he has become. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you. Thank you all for coming here and sharing this most beautiful, special, wonderful day with us. Um, I want to thank you to all of you, all of you who are here and all of those others whose prayer, love, and care have brought us to this point, brought Matthew to the point where he is today. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> I'm so proud of my boy. <laughs> there are no words that could possibly express my feelings right now. So I just pray that you can feel the love and the gratitude coming from my heart and spirit to all of you. Last Friday, March six months since the day that Matthew's life was so dramatically altered in the lives of his teammates, Staff Sergeant Michael Owen, Corporal Jonathan Santos, their interpreter A.D., and a Marine on the mission with them were lost. Matthew tells me that he wants to live his life in a manner which will honor them. All of you who know him will agree, I think, that he is already doing just that. Matthew would now like to make a presentation to General Brown on behalf of those just mentioned.
At this time, Specialist Matthew Drake will present his unit's Joint Psychological Operations Task Force Fallen Comrade Coin to General Doug Brown. Inscribed on the coin is the following. We stand in the capitals of those who would do our citizens harm because of your selfless acts. Lieutenant Thank Colonel you. Charles Bowring, Specialist Adam Kinzer, Specialist Joseph Jeffries, Staff Sergeant Michael mm -hmm. Owen, Corporal Jonathan Santos, in memory of those who have made the ultimate sacrifice in the service of our nation. Matthew has suffered great losses and hardships, but he has also received great blessings. Today we gather to celebrate those blessings and all of the daily victories that Matthew achieves in his remarkable recovery thus far. Despite all that he has gone through, his sweet nature, tender heart, and sense of humor have survived as well, and they shine through touching all of those who meet him. He has become an inspiration and a blessing to us all, and we know he's not done yet. He is indeed a true hero. Hey everybody, uh, everybody you know who you are, that's everybody. Um, this is me, I'm just going to say hi. Um, love you all, think of you all the time, and I will throughout my deployment. Uh, no matter how short or how long it will be, I'll do my job, I'll do my best, and I'm going to come back, and I'm going to be a tough SOB. That's right. I was there. <laughs> so, uh, you know, like I say, I'm just going to go over there, and everybody be in my prayers. I know I'll be in everybody's prayers, and I'll see you all soon. Promise. All right. Okay. Okay. So wait a minute. All right. Here we go. All right, ladies. How you doing? You know me. Yeah. Just want to say hey. How you doing? Yeah. I'm thinking about you. Right now. I'm not wearing any underwear. <laughs> <laughs> You're so. No. Just want to say hey. Uh, take care of my mom. Give her hugs all the time. Do my best to keep in contact, either through my mom or, or otherwise. Um, and if I didn't have smallpox right now, which I do, 